Hello, you're watching Breakfast with Rachel Burden and Charlie State. So we've been talking a lot recently about how much our weekly groceries have been going up in price and also about supermarket shortages. But even against this backdrop, a staggering amount of food is still wasted every year. Charities say more needs to be done to stop that waste. So how are they going to do it? Hannah's been looking into this for us. Hello. Hello. That's exactly the question, isn't it? How do we stop that food that we are growing from going to waste, ending up on people's plates is what we want to see. Let's talk it through. Yeah, how much we pay for our food and where we get it from are big issues at the moment. And across the country, there are organisations trying to make sure we make the most of what we do have. So let's look at the figures. In the UK, it's estimated that we throw away nine and a half million tonnes of food each year from our homes, businesses and restaurants. Recent figures also reveal that another three million tonnes of edible food goes to waste on UK farms every year. That's the equivalent of nearly seven million meals. And at a time when there are believed to be more than four million people experiencing food poverty, the question is how to put that surplus food from farms to good use. The country's largest food redistribution charity, Fair Share, says that more funding would help to avert what they call a hunger crisis. I've been finding out more. This facility in Manchester distributes nearly 5 million meals a year to charities and community groups. But right now, supplies can't keep up with demand. Uh, it's really quite empty, so if you look at the shelves, all the racking here, uh, we've got quite a lot of empty spaces. We've got spaces on the floor that are available, so normally it would be a lot, a lot fuller than this. Is that because you've had so much going out of here at the it moment? It is. It's because the demand for food has skyrocketed recently. Uh, we support over 250 charities across Greater Manchester, uh, Lancashire, Cheshire, and uh, the majority of them have seen a, a significant increase in the rise of food. Much of the stock here comes from supermarkets, but other sources of surplus food are harder to get hold of. Fair share say £25 million from the government would allow them to hand out millions more meals which are currently going to waste. A thousand charities have signed up to their vision. It's not rocket science. Like We're not waiting for like some big breakthrough in technology. It's a question of financing. It's a question of logistics. We just need to get the food from A to B. And there's so much food at a farm level that is surplus and wasted. You know, it's about three million tons a year so at the same time as there's this crazy demand in the country for it there's all this huge surplus and we just need help connecting the two food distribution charities like this one i recently visited in trafford have seen demand soar as people struggle to afford the basics when I mean, we're lucky today and people are coming here they've not even they're coming here today even if they're not doing the bread and butter today they're coming here to keep warm you know what I mean? And that just shows you what the world's all about. You know what I mean? To get a brew, they don't have to put the, they don't have to put the gas on when they're at home. I mean, I work on the van, so I'm always sweating, because <laughs> it's hard work. But, but yeah, that's just, it's just the way it is. The government says it has a commitment to halve food waste by 2030 and is working with businesses to measure and reduce it. But with food prices rising faster than ever, it's unlikely that demand for services like this is going to drop off anytime soon. Well, the food industry and supermarkets say they are trying to reduce waste. Some have already changed their best before labels. There are calls for hygiene regulations to be looked at too. There's no doubt that schemes like this would be good for people, good for the environment, but I suspect with the budget coming up, all the demands for government funding, we're going to be seeing more calls like this in the weeks to come.